In Karnataka, the political storm around the arrest of a activist now escalating after the chief minister's comment. Now the BJP upping the ante. Remember, uh, we brought you these developments. Police on Friday arrested Shrikant Pujari as part of what they called a routine exercise to dispose of long pending cases. According to them, Pujari was among 11 people booked on charges of rioting after violence erupted in 1992, a day before the Babi Masjid in Ayodhya was demolished. Now, remember the BJP has been targeting the Congress over this arrest. Now, the BJP state president, B.Y. Vijayendra, saying that the Congress is an anti-Hindu government. They've called for a statewide protest tomorrow against the arrest. Take a look. We have his reaction with us. We'll play that out and then we'll go over to reporters for more. A massive protest across the state of Karnataka. It's very unfortunate when the entire country is celebrating the Pratishtapana of Ram on January 22nd. The attitude of the ruling Congress party here in Karnataka, it clearly shows the present Congress government in Karnataka is anti-Hindu and repeatedly trying to hurt the sentiments of the Hindus in the Karnataka. So we'll expose this Congress government before the people of Karnataka and also before the people of this country. Tomorrow, Bharatiya Janta Party is holding a massive protest across the barbaric attitude of the state government. So, so the Chief Minister said that should we let go of people who have committed... Okay, let's go over to our colleague Ritu to understand more. Ritu, the, the BJP predictably upping the ante. Here they're announcing a statewide protest tomorrow. Can you tell our audiences more about the plans for tomorrow? And can you also tell us, because we know the Congress has stood firm on their decision. They've said this was a long pending case and that justice needs to be continued, carried out, no matter what. But does the Congress have any plans to counter this tomorrow already? Well, you see, when we talk about countering part, then we already have uh, Home Minister G. Parmeshwar coming out and saying at this point in time that this just happened about the timing that he's talking here is that this just happened coincidentally. There's no target or any specific uh, agenda as well when it comes to the arrest of this particular individual. What they are saying is that all that long pending cases needs to be resolved, cannot be just kept it like that on a table. So that's the reason why the, uh, the, the, the police in fact took up that reviewing process and that's when they came up with this one of that cases and yes the action whether uh, the person might be given a bail or for that matter he might uh, you know uh, go on to be punished as well so it is all left to the legal process there is no need of doing politics is what uh, uh, the congress government here in the Karnataka is saying freshly right now but on the other hand you see the bjp has already called for a statewide protest they are they are condemning this particular arrest of an individual saying that this is completely and vendetta politics that what the congress is doing here in the state and majorly the timing has been questioned over here but when we talk about how it is going to be then it needs to be seen that how you, uh, you know it, whether the government will uh, the bjp specifically in fact, will go on uh, for a unique protest or for that matter, uh, there would be that uh, for a one-side protest as well. Ritu, around issues like this, we've sometimes seen the Congress's top two leaders in Karnataka, DK Shivkumar and Siddhar Amaya. Sometimes we've seen them have differing stances. What do your sources tell you? Behind the scenes, is DK Shivkumar, the Deputy Chief Minister, entirely on board with all of these developments? Well, at this point in time, looks like uh, because uh, of course Karnataka PM is uh, is not here in uh, in other Bengaluru. He is in the other district of. Uh uh, the Karnataka, but meanwhile, you see, when we talk about the Deputy CM uh, DK Shikumar, as of now, has not responded anything on this. But uh, looks like, moreover, when even if he's been questioned about it, then one thing that he would either say that this is completely politics, what is happening around the arrest of this particular individual, or for that matter, he might want to say that it is to the Home uh, Minister to speak on this particular uh, matter because it's that department which has given a standing direction to the uh, police department. Okay, if I could just ask you, Ritu, to stay with us, let's go over to our colleague Akshara right now to understand more on all of these developments. These are all colleagues of ours who are joining us from on the ground in Karnataka. Akshara, if you could now bring us more context. The BJP very predictively, as we were discussing with uh, Ritu, they are upping the ante on this. They've just announced that they're going to hold a statewide protest against the arrest. I just want to understand from you, Akshara, more about what the BH BJP's plans are. Are they planning to join hands with the VHP, which has also issued a few statements about this in the last few hours? 
Well, as of now in Karnataka, they haven't issued any such statement of joining hands with PSP. But uh, the BJP state president, uh, president here, Vivai Vijendra, who, who spoke now about this particular arrest of uh, Hindu activist uh, Shrikan Pujari, he said that the BJP will carry out a massive statewide protest tomorrow, and uh, they have informed all the district centers of the BJP unit here in Karnataka, uh, no, uh, to stage a protest. And we also has demanded the Karnataka Chief Minister C M Sidramaya to immediately release this particular Hindu uh, activist. Uh, and how he also highlighted the fact that during such an uh, instance, such an occasion. Uh, where Ram Mandir inauguration is being celebrated by the whole nation, such arrest has been made. Why did the uh, Congress government uh, choose such an occasion to arrest such Hindu mm. activist? Is what uh, the uh, BJP state president D Y Vijayendra is questioning. But at, at the very same time, the Congress leaders are reiterating, stating that uh, it is just a mere coincidence. It has got nothing to do with the Ram Mandir inauguration. Uh, uh, 32 cases were being reopened, and this is one such case involved in this particular uh, uh, you know uh, set of cases. And also that uh, you know this is a mere coincidence and. Uh, you he will be uh, no, this legal process also he did not attend the legal process for a very long time so that's the reason why it's being initiated so that's what the congress comment had to say regarding this okay i just want to ask you akshara we've also watched the uh, chief minister of karnataka on sunday make a statement in which he said he is welcoming the construction of the ram mandir i point that out because we haven't seen so many congress leaders be so open we did of course see the himachal pradesh chief minister recently say something similar but otherwise we've seen uh, most key congress leaders chief ministers be a little reticent in that sense. Was that statement supposed to, to counterbalance this arrest that had already taken place on Friday? What are Congress sources telling you? Well, you see, uh, many of the Congress leaders are very much careful when speaking about this issue. Uh, you know, had the Chief Minister, he himself said that he welcomes the Ram Mandir Temple, inauguration of Ram Mandir Temple, he himself uh, worships Lord Ram. So, these were the statements that were given by a few of the Ministers and the Chief Ministers. At the very same time, you have other Congress Ministers giving out statements, be it Anjaneya or uh, uh, be it K. Venkatesh, called the Congress Ministers giving out certain statements which uh, haven't uh, gone down well with the BJP leaders. You know, we had uh, uh, Anjaneya uh, who went out to say that Sidramaya is there, he's like a Lord Ram. To us, we need not go and worship at Avadya. And you had Congress Minister K. Venkatesh who went on to say that uh, uh, you know, during such occasion, the BJP is utilizing this in order to provoke the emotions of the uh, people. So, these are the certain uh, statements that were given by a few Congress leaders. And But uh, most of the Congress leaders, including Chief Minister himself, are very careful when while giving such statements. Uh, they clearly do not want uh, it to back, you know, backfire at them. Uh, so at the very same time, but uh, you know uh, this particular incident where Shrikant Pujari is being arrested, uh, you know it has uh, clear the BJP has clearly updated Sante, you know, uh, on this particular aspect, and they are uh, staging a protest uh, tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier, and they are demanding that this particular Hindu activist must be released immediately, okay. or else uh, they would carry out a you know, large protest here in the state. Okay, Akshar, stay with us. Let's go over to our colleague Ritu, who's also with us. Ritu, something we haven't shared with our audiences in too much detail is why he was booked. Shrikant Pujari, 60 years old. But can you tell us more about the incident itself that led to his arrest, what the police is saying he allegedly did? Well, you see, what the police has been able to tell so far to us is that uh, uh, in 1992, during the Ram Mandir moment in Hubli, there was a riot and uh, allegedly this particular individual was uh, uh, indulged in the vandalism. And in this particular case, there were a total of uh, 13 who were actually uh, accused and were, uh, in fact, arrested as well. But among them, this particular person never got into a legal process as well for the legal process, while others went on to uh, clear that out with the, uh, legally. But uh, moreover, you see, now that the police is also seeing to it because he's now been into uh, the custody, you see, we'll also have to wait and see to it legal in the legal process that how he'll be uh, appearing uh, in front of the court and what would be that justification that would also be provided and whether then he will be, uh, you know, granted bail and his role as well. So all that is uh, that we'll also wait for the court to uh, decide on it. Okay.